smell something absolutely delicious downstairs, so let's go and investigate. I suspect that David may be at the heart of this. Good morning. Hello. Hi. Did you cook something? Because I could smell something delicious. Yes, I've made rolls. Since you requested rolls for lunch, Oh, I knew it was you. I smelled something, I knew it was you. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Quite a few of you have been asking what constitutes a normal day at La Land. Well, there's no such thing as a normal day here. They're all completely different one from the other. But generally, it starts with one of us making breakfast for the B&B guests. Today, breakfast joy is mine. That doesn't happen all that often. I'm usually the last person to be added to the road to when there's no one else because I'm not a morning person. And I found David already in the kitchen, already cooking. Here we go with a ton of pastries and croissants. It's very French. You are back. I am back. From England. And we have just a few slices of bacon and a few sausages. I want to see. Oh, yeah. I haven't had proper British pork sausage and I don't know how long. Be careful how you say that and how you put it across <laughs> on your Instagram. Ian is going to be working here for the rest of his life. He's now working on Michael's apartment in the attic. Yes, I will be here my whole life. <laughs> How's it going up there? Really well. Excellent. All the plumbing today. Well, I say all. Does that mean he'll have a toilet soon? Uh, maybe you need to buy a toilet as well, that could be useful. Oh drat, I knew there'd be some sort of catch, <laughs> always some reason, <coughs> always it's not there. To delay the job. <laughs> this is what my mother looks like when she hands somebody she doesn't want to be speaking to on the phone over to me. Cheers, Chief. Oui, hello? I'm working at my desk and there's very strange music coming from the kitchen. What is going on in the kitchen? My life is so weird. No! Way. You have set up a gym. In the woodshed. Are you coming to have a look? Of course. So we have someone in Lycra and someone singing the Norwegian national anthem. I live in a madhouse. It's 17th of May, next Friday. So then we have to celebrate Norway's National Independence Day. Well, we all have to sing this. Yes. So what have you been busily and quietly working on all afternoon? Well, people have been moaning that we don't have a gym. Have they? Has they anyone been moaning? Well, Michael Petherick's been moaning. Michael Potts has got weights kicking around. Some other people have expressed a preference. So now what we manly have... manly friends I do have. Now we do have a gym in the woodshed, <laughs> just in time for summer, so we can <laughs> exercise outside. <laughs> so how does this work? Well, it might not work because I'm absolutely knackered after carrying it all out here. <laughs> but you can set it at different angles and you can pick the bar up and you can do some weights. And you can breathe the lovely outdoor air and listen to the birds. Maybe a little tea table out here with comfy chairs and I could just sit and watch you all exercising. As long as there's tea on it that I can drink when I'm finished, then absolutely. <laughs> well, that's my summer sorted. <laughs> Excellent! It's better than TV. Sometimes I forget how beautiful it is out here. Mummy has received a letter from an old friend who saw us on TV and she's reading it out to us. A new mother who was very charming and clearly a strong force at the back of the family. You may have! Right at the, at the front of the family. At the head of the family, at, at the, the top head of, the... of the family. No, you're, you're just in the background, Mummy. You're still in the very background. Lovely lady. It's not <laughs> Mummy in the background. Lady. Mummy's never been in the background of anything. <laughs> She's at the it forefront. It's so pleasing to see you now so accomplished as your mother taught you. That's, That's wonderful. wonderful, isn't it? It's absolutely... You like that bit, Mummy? I, I love it. This is a very typical Lalande moment. Yeah. So Marie knows how to start the tractor but she doesn't know how to drive it. And I know how to drive the tractor, but I don't know how to start it. So it requires both of us to come outside to save Jen, who's out stranded on the mower with a flat battery. Yes. So you put on on, and 
there is some here and then you take this down I'll, I'll guess I'll take this off first oh So you're just moving levers at random until it starts. That's how you know how to start the tractor. No, Stephanie. Even I know how to start the tractor that way. I'm just trying. You keep saying okay, but nothing's happening. Oh! <laughs> I don't think it has gears. It does. It's just the gear. I'd love to start it. Okay. The thing is that I tried to watch to see what you were doing, but as you clearly had no idea, <laughs> from what I gather, you pump these randomly. Just, this is how she starts it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that look on my face. <laughs> it was worse this morning. <laughs> <laughs> what? It almost didn't start. But oh we got there. It's well, okay. I, I did actually start it, didn't I? Yeah, you did. You did, you twice. Did. I don't think you knew how each time. Do you want to tell me what you did? And then you had to hold this one. That one's down. Yeah, and then you had to have it on. That's on. in neutral. It has to be on, on. on. And then you do this. Ah! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Yeah! I just start the tractor! My friend Roland has taken over the mowing from Jen. He's actually an incredible concert cellist, but he's a great mower too. He caught the versus mower. Hey Roland! Do you have any idea what a joy this is? To come through and see this. I mean, in the drink. Is that just berries and water? Frozen berries and tap water. Fantastic. And these, I love these so much. And I'm not somebody who is naturally gluten-free, but your gluten-free rolls are incredible. Gluten-free and carbohydrate-free. Do you mind me posting the recipe to this on my blog? Because I'm sure everyone would love them. Post away, we've been trying to get it right for ages, so. Have you got it right now? It is this, is good, this it? It's probably right. I will post it. Roland, yep. the lawn is magnificent. <laughs> Thank you, my, my pleasure. Stephanie, I love your tartan. Oh yeah! I think there's a contagious little element going on. I have to oh, look at David! I don't believe it, Jerry. What have you done? I really think this is it. Scotland has come to France. <laughs> it's the old alliance has returned. No way, Mummy. I didn't even you, notice that's that. That's orifice. Okay, it's official. It's contagious. Gerald, you are contagious. I wonder if it happens to people who watch the vlog. Will they start wearing tartan as well? But the only thing when you buy tartan, you don't accept money, you have to buy it with a check. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh sorry! Oh no! So David, what are you making this morning? Um, trying to make a apricot pickle with um, chilies and ginger and cinnamon which I think has the potential to be pretty good with cheese. I put some chilies, dried chilies at the bottom 
and then a cinnamon stick and I'm going to put another cinnamon stick in the middle and then just layering in apricots and ginger and then cover it in brine. This does not look like a normal lid. This is a venting lid so it will allow CO2 or whatever builds up inside to come out without letting oxygen come in. Oh, that's so clever. And it's pretty. And it's a nice colour. What do I need to do to keep you both here? Well, let's talk about five figures. <laughs> what do you reckon? Mm. If it was a heaven of peace, quiet, cleanliness, serenity. That sounds as if you're describing my thing. That's La Lande she described, isn't it, Ian? Did you uh, just hear La Lande yes, being described? Yes, it, it did sound a little La Lande. Didn't it? On that one day a year, when we have tranquility. I haven't had time to tackle the laundry room. I worry <laughs> that my mother uses the word tackle altogether too much when she's in my house. I'm going to tackle this and I'm going to tackle, you yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of tackling to do. But do you know what really kicked everything off? What? It was because we were left stranded at Limoges. <gasps> that was the catalyst. That was the beginning of the start. What did Mummy do when she found out I wasn't there? How, how, how did you go? Where was it? It was a... I said, oh! No, no, no. I said, oh, really? Oh, never mind. We'll wait. Yeah. Did you really? Didn't I? No, but you got amnesia. I no, I did you, you went, oh, Stephanie! Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it. I had sent her the ticket the night before. Yeah, the problem was you sent me, when I asked what time are you arriving, you sent me all arrival times for all of your future flights. And I looked at the wrong arrival time. And I sent you the week before the flight details. It's supposed to be last minute for me, Gerald, because I have go. the brain of a tiny gnat. Right, and we're 15 minutes late for Oh yes, oh route. dear. Oh, so we okay. must go, must go, the must go, must go. The wheels are coming off everywhere. Yes. We're going to go. Bye bye, sweetheart. Try to grow up. You know, between yeah. now and when I return. So I will be nice and cool and... Because the fact that you're not nice and cool is because I haven't grown up. Yes, yes. It's difficult to deal with a five-year-old when they, in fact, are a lot... Older than older five. five. Goodbye, sweetie. Oh, don't you side with her, Gerald. Don't you start. Goodbye, Listen. Goodbye. I'm getting ready to go. That I'm going to miss you both. Tick up a lot. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Do I bring her back? Like a toothache. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Take care, okay, Missy darling. See, see you at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good life. Ian and I are going on a clandestine meeting. At the foot of a chateau. Yes, in the field at the foot of a chateau. Three hours to the north. There will be a man and we need to meet that man. Known as Marble Man. Marble Man. <laughs> Made it to the incredibly pretty town. All we have to do now is locate Marble Man. It's worth a little outing down the hill. Down the hill. I'm sure most people don't have to do this to buy a marble work surface. No. So it just shows what dedication we put into our art. That or any excuse for a day out. Uh, also a, a day out that involves possibly involves some wine. We've arrived and I'm tucking into a delicious local goat's cheese salad. Ian, I see you've just gone straight in with beef burger. Absolutely. Well, no, I have a chicken burger because I'm thinking of my, thinking of my stomach. Not very As you can light. see, this concave effect that doesn't stay like this for very long. This is Steve from Amari Stone, and uh, yeah. we're trying to work out what marble would be best for Mummy's apartment. The pink Rosa Aurora Portuguese marble. Yeah, which I love a, the finish. Yeah, it's a great choice. It's the one we've got in our own bathroom at home as well. Oh. And it's been become really popular with a lot of the restaurants in London as well. So who have you supplied some to? Uh, the, one or two of the um, TV chef celebrities. But the, the, the one I've really enjoyed doing is Bill Granger's. So we've now done three of his restaurants. Mm. Oh, um, King's Cross is really close to me, so I'm going to go next time I'm there. Yeah. We did all the tabletops in that restaurant. In the Pavilion Road one in Chelsea, we did all the tabletops and also um, the bar tops. 
Here's an article in Waitrose magazine showing Bill sitting at one of the tabletops supplied by Steve. The pink is great. Yeah. And that's gone down like really well with a lot of um, the London interior designers. Yeah. Here. But there's a Rosa Aurora, uh, Rosa with the pink one, a Claro, the white one, mm -hmm. um, a Kramer, the green one, um, and the Azul is the blue one. Which is the one I think Michael really likes to look off for his apartment yeah. at La Lande. Yeah. You really have to see the, the blocks that they're being cut from. And choose from, from the to, block yeah, that to, you like. To understand And the Azul is uh, rarer than the Yeah, not as, not as common as the, as the pink and the white versions. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad that we're going to get to the bottom of this and Mummy will eventually get a work surface. She's getting a bit grumpy. <laughs> Well, that was really good fun. Well, I thought that was really interesting. Very worthwhile, the journey. Yeah, there were lovely people yes. and I like the marble that we've chosen. So how quickly can you get those templates made? Oh, as soon as the sink's arrived. I've got this on video oh, yeah? now. Yes, right. When's the yes. sink arrived? Yes. When it's delivered. <laughs> <laughs> I've got back in time to have dinner with my lovely B&B &B guests and Roland is showing what he does even better than mowing and has agreed to do a little concert for us. Thank <laughs> you.